Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. US 30 there had an absolutely fantastic session yesterday, breaking all the way up to 17,895, but just stopping short of potential resistance. You can see it's just slowly drifting down there, um, pretty much uh, erasing most of the uh, most of the losses that we've had the last couple of days, and actually starting 2015 um, higher than what it's uh, well, almost higher than what it started the 2013 on. So things are still looking quite um, quite interesting, trading above both moving averages, almost got a crossover on the MACD. Well, the other technicals are quite neutral. Um, what we need to wait today is obviously is for non-farm payrolls and uh, unemployment data to come out. Um, so the market's probably going to be relatively flat for the, uh, for the next couple of hours as we get ready for, uh, for that announcement. If we get over 20,000, uh, 200,000 jobs created, that will be um, one of the longest running streaks for, uh, for some time for the employment data. And uh, I think it'll be almost the fifth time in a row that we've been above 200,000 jobs. So the actual um, the actual uh, estimate for that today, we just go ahead and have a look at that in a bit more detail. Um, directly from um, from Reuters, there is a uh, two hundred and thirty thousand or two hundred forty thousand, sorry. Uh, and uh, make sure you get your alarm set for that. We did get um, three hundred and twenty one, so it absolutely smashed it last time, uh, destroying estimates. So uh, it will be uh, useful to see if uh, today we have a, a, an estimate beating figure coming out once again. So looking at the UK one hundred. Um, Kind of similar movement to what the US 30s had. Obviously, still got a lot further to go to, to get anywhere near those all time highs, but trading above both moving averages, crossover in the MACD, the other technicals are neutral. Um, but 65.89 looks to be the resistance to beat. And again, it's unlikely it's probably going to uh, have a challenge of that until after non farm payroll figures come out. Japan 25 has come off a little bit, which is interesting as dollar yen is continuing to soldier up. It's at 119 spot 72. Um, right now, let me just confirm that. Yep. So um, we we are still moving in the right direction, but the Asian market come off, has come off slightly further than the European and US markets, uh, perhaps capped by that 21 period SMA, and again approaching 17.498 as a potential resistance. Now, what's interesting about Japan 25 is we could have a, a kind of a head and shoulders formation here appearing. Uh, the longer we don't break above 17,496, uh, that, that increases the likelihood of a neckline break at some point in the future. But the trend of dollar yen still looks intact, and as soon as we start ticking above 120, 121, um, that yen depreciation will help Japanese equities going forward. So, uh, obviously, any quantitative easing that might uh, might come out from the Bank of Japan will obviously be a catalyst for that as well. So moving on to <coughs> dollar yen, um, we're, we're bouncing around that 21 period SMA. Looks to be short term support at 119, um, which would be an interesting springboard for us to re challenge 121 spot 87. Obviously, dollar strength being the course, uh, you know, the story of the week, uh, not of the week, but of the last couple of months. And uh, non farm payrolls comes out much better than expected, and the drop in unemployment comes out. Then I would probably expect that dollar, dollar yen is probably well positioned to have that rechallenge 121.80 um, further on um, uh, this session and perhaps next week. So, then having a look at Crudel West Texas. Um, we've actually managed to uh, have two positive days in a row. It's not immediately um, started to, to drop. Um, we are a little bit away from, from, from the bottom there, which is uh, 46.74. Um, we are in negative territory so far this morning, and uh, there seems to be kind of a reluctance again to move that little bit higher until we get non-farm payrolls out of the way. We've already started to see that some shale oil gas producers in the US have filed for uh, bankruptcy protection. They certainly won't be the last for as long as crude oil remains at these low, low levels. A lot of those um, companies have probably got about three to six months uh, the smaller firms anyway with not a lot of additional um, credit available to keep them afloat or uh, previous profits to uh, to help them um, through this difficult phase. The longer crude oil prices remain down here, the more likely we might have a domino effect of, um, of these bigger US firms and some firms uh, over in Asia who will no longer be viable as a business with crude oil at these prices. So um, that will end up impacting some of the global uh, equity markets um, further on down the line. But there could be some sort of recovery. We've already dropped about 10% on Crude Oil West Texas uh, this week, so it could do with having a little bit of recovery. So looking at gold, um, gold's not going to be doing too much again until non-farm payrolls comes out. Uh, a strong figure increases the likelihood of an uh, increase in interest rates in the US sooner rather than later, which is going to be post-April time, widely expected to be the summertime. And the stronger these figures that come out, unemployment and NFP, uh, that just increases the likelihood that they'll, they'll raise rates sooner rather than later. So 12.18 is still the potential resistance to be aware of on that one. 
So finishing up with your dollar and GBP USD, your dollar almost at uh, multi-year lows again. We hit that yesterday one spot 1753. That's the lowest it's been in a fair number of years, and uh, we're still targeting one spot 1642 as the next potential support level. Uh, and obviously with NFP today. Oh, Depending on how strong and weak this figure is, if it's a very, very disappointing figure, you could see a decent rebound on, on your dollar. People are still waiting to see what's happening with the ECB on the 22nd of uh, January uh, for their next meeting. They might um, come out with their quantitative easing program, um, but um, your dollar certainly seems to be of keen interest to many traders here at CMC. And finishing up with GBP USD um, is almost stabilizing long red candles. Um, for the last two sessions, indicative of uh, cable almost finding a floor, but uh, again, very vulnerable to US macro data, with one spot 4813 being the next potential support should NFP uh, beat expectations longer term. Uh, as ever, um, the data that's due out today, there's a fair amount out today. We've already had um, Chinese uh, CPI came out as expected, PPI slightly worse than expected. Um, we've got um, obviously our payroll data uh, due at 1.30 and that's going to, that's going to be quite quite a big deal and the unemployment rate uh, is going to be pretty important as well going forward. So what to do next is to keep an eye on the chart form as ever, make insights part of your day going forward and join me again on Monday to find out what happened next.